I spent most of my life as a dairy farmer and I was diagnosed with MS 10 years ago. I developed a limp and I had problems with my left arm. I went to see my GP. He wanted to send me to see a, a neurologist and the neurologist sent me straight for an MRI. The MRI results come back and I was diagnosed with primary progressive MS. It's impacted my daily life uh, quite severely, I guess. There's lots of things about my life that changed, but I tried to maintain as much as I can. The most important thing with that is exercise. I used to do a lot of running and cycling. I do still cycle and I ride uh, around about 150 or 200 kilometres a week. Fatigue is very important and fatigue management. My youngest daughter is a yoga teacher and she was able to introduce me to something called guided meditation. Just close your eyes and don't concentrate on anything for a few minutes. That was very important. It's been a, a very interesting journey. A lot of doors closed, but also a lot of doors open. I work for seven charitable organizations. The rewards are huge because it's so cool to be able to help other people. One of the things I've learned is that when I'm helping other people, I'm actually helping myself. It's really important to share our story. Every time you share, you're increasing the awareness of learned things from lots of other people. My condition has progressed over time very slowly. I believe I've managed to control the progression somewhat by keeping active. I feel as independent now as ever I was. The thing that I worry about in the future is if anything else crops up, it doesn't just affect the person that's got it. And I worry for my family's sake as far as advice that I can offer people, concentrate on the positives. Surround yourself with positive people. Mindfulness is very important. Diet is very important too. Sleep and health is another important one. What makes me, me, I haven't changed. I'm still the same person. I've looked at life through a different lens and I've managed to refocus.